Island. Okay, so we got the Airstream home to our RV park here. We got our spot right next to Mavis. So, Brian said it drove pretty well, which is good. We got some gas in it. Check this out. What? I'm interrupting you. Okay. And I'm sorry. But, but I didn't notice this. The hose what? and the power cables are on reels. Oh, isn't that nice? Wow. We're trying to really hook up for the first time. So, this is all new. Um, our concerns about whether the sewer hose would fit were not founded because it looks like they already fixed up the sewer hose. We have the original connection on this end, original to the 1989, and we have a retrofitted new connection on the other end. So, awesome. I know Brian's happy that everything's on those reels. So... We shall see guys, we're gonna be trying to get this all hooked up and working. Yes, yeah? yes. Hey. Oh, sucks about the hail damage, but still love this thing. Don't you, baby? wouldn't love that come on now it's kind of fun I always like when we get to park them next to each other I just find that to be fun our two houses all right ladies and germs Brock Rickman here with another Airstream update and uh, I'm up on top of the Airstream right now and as you can see it's pretty dimply. Not too happy about that. So, uh, we have a couple vents here that are broken. Right there. And then right there, and I'll give you a better look at that. But uh, right now, as you can see, it looks a little dark out. So, we're going to have to cover those up so I don't get any more water inside, inside the coach. So, I'm going to be covering those up with some... Uh, pretty much what I have is black trash black trash bags and some Gorilla Tape. So I'm going to have to go ahead and plug those up from the outside um, to make sure I don't get water in the coach. So uh, let me switch around to the other view and show you guys exactly how bad the uh, the damage is. All right, so here is the top of all this. We got beat up pretty hard as you can see. Um, messed up my air horns up there. Got a couple holes in the spotlight. Then of course, uh, I got this vent cover right here, the hole in it, but luckily it didn't go all the way through, so water's not coming in there. But we also have the fan vent cover to the bathroom, and then to the shower. Those are the two that I'm going to be covering up right now. As I said, we're going to be using some uh, black trash bags, some Gorilla Tape, I got some scissors here to uh, cut the bags. This vent cover's okay. There's the back. I got some of the awnings out. So uh, we're gonna see if I can't plug up these holes. And here we have the first vent I'll take care of. So as you can see, I just put black trash, black plastic trash bag on the top, tape it down, cut the bottom up and put some air in the case. Go ahead and do that to this one over here. So how I'm doing this is I am quartering the bag, basically folding it in quarters until it fits over the hole nicely. And then I'm sealing off the top part first. I'm going to seal off the sides. I'm going to seal off the corners. Then I'll come back through with another layer. And then on top being last because you want that to overlap everything else so water doesn't get in. You got it? You got it. Pretty cool, right? And you got... Oh, I thought you said you figured out the middle. I did not figure out the middle yet. Oh, you just meant you figured out this part. Yes. And what I think happened on the middle is it's supposed to have one of these. It's a pull tab 
but it doesn't have this stud on the top. Oh. So I can't pull it unless I have a pair of pliers, which I do. I just haven't gotten them yet. Okay. So. If I do that, I should be able to move this up and then bring it out to this part up here. Now this is actually supposed to roll up, okay? And then there's two pieces of Velcro here. And they're supposed to hold each other, but the Velcro is so old that it doesn't oh, hold. Oh, well, that's easy to replace. Yeah. The awning is in great shape, though, guys. It just needs to be clean. That's it. Yeah, there's no holes, no rips. I don't know how well I can show you from this side because it's not tilted down anymore, but let's see. There you go. It's in really good shape. Just dirty. And all the little ones are in good shape, too. There's one over here. And there's one on the back. Isn't that cute? Just needs to be cleaned. They're in great shape. None on this side, so we might add some. Yeah. So I think that would be paramount in keeping heat out and stuff when it's so. uh, hot. It's getting warm. Yeah. So besides what he fixed on the roof, well, I wouldn't say fixed, we temporarily covered the temporary, vents very temporary <laughs> just because you know we've been having these dark skies and we've had several storms lately so just in case we get another storm it won't get more inside than already has exactly um and then you want to tell them about the water so turned on the water which is hooked into the of course into the airstream itself it didn't leak when i first turned the water on but then i started to run water through the actual faucets and I came out to check out here and it was leaking, leaking pretty badly so yeah it was like below the compartment over here yeah this whole compartment in here was actually flooded so inside the compartment so yeah. the leak somewhere up in the body and then coming down into this compartment and then from the compartment it was dripping down onto the ground through exactly. the compartment but the leak was coming from in there somewhere don't know where when we tried running the water inside the house so that is going to be probably our biggest issue at this time i think so everything else is working pretty well so far but we can't really run too much water to try the tanks and try flushing tanks because our water's leaking so hard to say at this moment not sure that it would be legitimately feasible to take this to the convergence because it's in just two weeks. So, um, I don't know about that. But at least we're starting to be able to check it out and see what is gonna need to happen with this thing, so. It's gonna be a labor of love. Yes, it will.